For our second navigation pattern, we'll look at tab navigation in Expo Router. Tab navigation offers a way to switch between different screens by tapping on a tab, which is usually displayed at the bottom of the screen. Like stack navigation, tab navigation is also a popular and intuitive pattern found in many apps. If you were to open Reddit, Instagram, Spotify, or Twitter on your phone right now, you would see a tab bar with several tabs along the bottom of the screen. This is a perfect example of tab navigation in action. Let's head back to VS Code and learn how we can implement tab navigation in our app. I've created a new project for this example, tab navigation app. Run npx, create expo app at latest, tab navigation app, and then inside the project folder, run npm run reset hyphen project to start with a bare bones expo project. You should have just the root index and layout files. We will begin by creating a tabs route group in the app directory. So new folder, within parentheses, tabs. Within this folder, we will create three pages. index.tsx, explore.tsx, and profile.tsx. These pages represent the three tabs that will be displayed in the tab bar. In each file, we will define a simple component that renders some text. So use the snippet rnfs to create a React Native component. Define some container styles and apply it to the view component. Copy this code, paste it in explore.tsx and profile.tsx, but change the component name and text to match the file name. Explore, profile. Assuming this is a recipes app, we will render find your favorite recipes in explore.tsx and create your own recipes in profile.tsx. Once you have the three files created, within the same tabs route group, create an underscore layout.tsx file. This file will contain the tab navigation component from Expo Router. So import tabs from Expo Router, export default function tabs layout, and we return the tabs component. This will automatically create a tab bar with the routes defined in the tabs route group as individual tabs. But our application will still display the app component from index.tsx when we run it. Let's fix it by updating the root layout. Open underscore layout.tsx in the app folder. And here we'll render stack.screen component with name prop equal to the tabs route group. So opening and closing tags, stack.screen name is equal to the tabs route group. We'll also pass in an options object with the property header shown set to false. This will hide the stack navigation header, which is not needed as tabs have their own header. Finally, we will delete the root page file index.tsx in the app directory. Now, when we reload the app, so press R, we should see the tab bar at the bottom of the screen and we can navigate between the tabs by tapping on them. So index is home, explore, find your favorite recipes, profile, create your own recipes. Our tab navigation is working as expected. All right, next, let's dive into some of the options you can customize with tab navigation. We will begin by using the tabs screen component, which gives us more control over the individual tabs. So instead of self-closing tabs, open and closing tags. Tabs.screen is the component, and we specify name is equal to the file name. We have index, explore, and profile. By default, the file name is rendered as the tab label. You can see at the bottom, index, explore, and profile. You can customize this by passing in a tab bar label option. So on tabs.screen, options is an object. We set tab bar label, home for the index tab, explore for the explore tab, and profile, or my profile for the profile tab. Check your device and you can see the updated labels in the tab bar. Home, explore, my profile. Next, 
you would want to customize the icon in the tab. Right now, we have inverted triangles, but let's use the font awesome library to render an icon for each tab. So at the top, import font awesome from expo vector icons slash font awesome, and then specify the tab bar icon option. This is a function. We return the font awesome component with name is equal to home for index and size is equal to 24. To make sure the icon picks up on the active and inactive states of the tab, we will destructure the color prop that the function receives and pass it to the icon. I'm going to copy paste this tab bar icon option for explore and change the name prop to search. Finally, for profile, the icon is going to be user. Save the files, reload the app, and you should see the updated icons in the tab bar, home, search, and user. If you wish to, you can also specify the tab bar badge option to add a badge to the icon. For example, tab bar badge set to three. You can see the badge appearing against my profile icon. This is particularly useful if you have a notifications tab or an inbox tab that requires the user's attention. Finally, you can specify the title option to customize the title for each tab. Right now, at the top, you can see the default title for each tab, which is the file name, index, explore, and profile. We'll pass home for the index tab, explore for the explore tab, and profile for the profile tab. You can see the updated titles in the header, profile, explore, and home. Now let's move on to the screen options that can be applied to the entire tab navigation. So on the tabs component, specify the screen options prop. First, we have tab bar label position. By default, it is set to below icon, which is what you see currently. We can change this to beside icon and the label will now appear right beside the icon. Typically, below icon is set for mobile devices and beside icon for iPad and tablets. I'm going to set this to below icon since I'm working with an iPhone. The next option is tab bar show label. This is set to true by default. If we set it to false, the label is hidden and only the icon is displayed in the tab bar. We definitely want the label, so I'll flip it back to true. Next, we have header title, which sets a single title across all the tabs. Let's set it to recipes app. Take a look at your device, and you can see the updated title. Home, explore, my profile is the same across all the tabs. Next, let's move on to some styling options. We can customize the active and inactive tab colors, the background color of the tab bar, the background color of the header, and the color of the header text. Save the file, and you can see the updated colors. It's a very dark blue, almost towards black as background color, and a light blue accent color. Now to make sure the status bar displays correctly, in the root layout, we will import the status bar component and render it with light content prop. So import status bar from expo status bar, import react, use react fragment, and invoke status bar component with style set to light. Now the status bar is displaying correctly without any color contrast issues. So these are some of the important options you can customize with tab navigation. The tabs component wraps the bottom tabs navigator from React Navigation, so you can use all the options that are available in the React Navigation documentation. For our next topic, we will explore how to implement a drawer navigation with Explorator.